Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now, have you been trying to find that perfect, does pretty much everything bag that is a crossover that you can commute to work, you can do weekend trips, you can go out into the countryside like this? Well, the Nebula from Osprey might just be the bag for you. So let's take a closer look. Now as we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, some materials, and then we'll have a look around the pack itself. Now measurements wise, it comes in at 490 millimeters by 310 by 209 millimeters deep, which makes this a 32 liter pack. For me, that's just about right, actually. I tend to gravitate around packs that I can just put that extra little bit more in there, mainly because I do, I just carry it a little bit too much. You tend to find with EDC that sweet spot between 20 to 30 litres is just great. I don't mind squeezing that up just a little bit up to 32, 33, 34, 35. What this does for a bag like this is it just gives you that extra that extra volume, you've gone to work, you want to throw your kit in here, you want to go to the gym afterwards, something like that, or you're going to go out on a day walk. You're like me, you have those small spun, fun sponges that follow you around everywhere dad can you carry this for me then you know you've got that extra room just in case as far as the materials are concerned so this is made from a 420d nylon um, osprey are very forward thinking and also like to make sure that they are doing good things for the environment uh, so a lot of the materials a lot of the hardware on this is all using either recycled plastics or recycled materials uh, and this is one of those yes so it's as I say it's a 420 um, nylon there is also uh, so like a, um, a bungee section here on the front which uses this really nice elastic uh, but the vast majority of it is yeah it's made from that so going through the features, I'll talk about the sides first, mainly they, they are identical, so if, if you see something on this side, it is identical on the opposite side. Uh, so we do have some uh, compression straps, we have one here at the top and then we have an additional one down here at the bottom. Um, I bring this little camping stool with me everywhere just in case you know I'm doing a lot of top down stuff, so I can put that in there. Uh, you can fit a one litre Nalgene bottle into here easily. I think if you wanted to go higher than that, well, I mean, I'd say mainly you, you one litre bottles are the general types that you go out with. Um, if you want to drop it in here, it just fits in fine, no issues whatsoever. You will, by the way, just need to make sure that you do your compression strap out, but when you cinch it down around the bottle, it really does make sure that it's in there nice and fast. On this side, I have my... Tramontane jacket in here so if you're trying to stow away something that you just want to grab just in case it does rain then you can easily put it in each of these sides we will come back to this top actually let's talk about this top compression strap anyway so let's talk about it now um, on the bottom completely plain bottom there's no sort of um, lashing points on here but these two compression straps that are here at the front so these have these little eye holes in here. Now, if you're not have, if you don't have anything in the front, they pass through these eye holes, and then they just close up. They're very well suited so that if you have some heavy things in the front, it will stop the the, the bag just like just vomiting out all of your stuff. So they are very good for that. If it is that you're using this to commute maybe you want to store a bicycle helmet or a larger item in here, if you now pull it out from these, it just gives this front section more volume, or it doesn't give it more volume, it just makes it easier to be able to put things in there. So if you've got a cycling helmet, you can drop your cycling helmet in here. I'm just gonna chuck a jacket in there for now. But then rather than going back through these little eye holes that are here on the side, you can just then connect it straight into the female sections at the top and you'll see it just kind of just kind of holds it it actually reminds me of um what do they call them is it like a baby papoose kind of thing where it just it just sits open there at the top whereas if you don't want or you don't want anything that's in there i could actually do it with this jacket so if i pull these through now what you'll notice is the opening to this front section now gets covered by this 
front part here so it just makes it a little bit difficult to get into there mainly for if you're doing city breaks and you don't want people getting their hands into this um, or maybe you just want to make sure something's nice and closed in there anyway so that's this front elasticated section super useful above there now we do have <laughs> As far as a bag is concerned, I'd call this a three panel bag, mainly because we, we have three uh, subsections where the, that 32 litres is divided into. There is also a quick access section here at the front, so if you want to drop your keys, your mobile phone, specifically mobile phones and glasses, um, it has a nice uh, felt lining in there, um, so it will stop anything from getting scratched. Um, obviously don't put your keys and your mobile phone at the same time because that just would be silly, wouldn't it? Now let's undo these again and we'll go through these different sections. All of the zippers on here, these are all YKK zippers. They're all the newer RC style YKK zippers and they're also reversed stitched on there to help to lessen any dirt or debris getting into the actual zip teeth. This front section though is more of an admin panel kind of section so I did have my notes in here which you just got off camera they fit in there perfectly you are then using and I think it is the same material as the um, as this front kind of pouch here you then have some uh, little elasticated sections I've got a pen in there as well and then behind here there is also another zip panel or a zip pocket that goes all the way across the front. The depth of this comes all the way down to the bottom. So where this seam is here, um, this is where this front section comes into. So if you've got notebooks, if you're using this for college, um, then you know you can you can fit all of your books in here or any sort of folders that you've got. Additionally, on this side, there's also a little key stay. I will say with Osprey, and it's 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 a it's a little thing. The key stays are just so short. You couldn't, if you took this bag off and you wanted to try and open your locker with it or open your front door, you'd have to take your key off. Um, I think if they just made it maybe an inch or two longer, then you could keep your keys on there and you wouldn't have to worry about taking your keys off if you wanted to get into the, into for, through your front door. But it's it's just a, it's a little thing. It certainly doesn't take anything away from how how well this bag performs. So that's that front section. Then there is one in the middle here. Now, as you get through to these uh, larger sections now, so we go up from, I don't know what this size zip or this was. So the, the one on the front here was a size eight. These large ones have to be a size 10. Yeah, they are a size 10. Um, really easy to open as you get with most YKK zippers. Now I will say as well, so you also have these little pulls on them, very easy to get your fingers into should you need to, so if you're out in the countryside or you've got cold hands, you've got wet hands, or even if you've got some gloves on and you want to be able to get in easier, then they all have these really easy pulls on there. So now this section itself, so what I've actually got, I mean I've got my little piece of leather that uses a sitting mat, I have my uh, alpaca element tech case which I take everywhere with me I kind of have this set up as though I had it when I was at work just in case you were concerned yes it is also tactical teddy bear compliant yes, I was wondering where that was I was trying to find that the other day um, but this is the main bit so if you're going to the gym then you can have all of your tech in the back section you can throw your trainers you can throw your gym kit in here and it also keeps it separate from your admin panel at the front really big nice and large uh, it is um, is it yeah so it has lining here on the front it has lining on the back it doesn't have lining on the side but what I will say is that it has um, almost like a waterproof membrane on the inside as well um, so that will you know that will that will certainly help but that's the middle section and then the back section on this I'm sure you've probably guessed at this point so this is your tech section and what I will say is your tech section does a full clamshell opening so if you're trying to get your laptop out of here so I, I mean I've I, mean, I work as an illustrator so I have my pencil case in here um, 
my laptop is a 16 inch laptop fits in absolutely no problems whatsoever and there's even room either side of it so if I want to put my laptop in and then put some of my illustrations or notes in there then I can do that as well on the front here there is also a really thick and rather than just being quite thin mesh pocket yeah super durable then behind that is another sleeve so one of my illustrator pads then I can Damn it, don't need to lose that. That's, uh, that's quite an important piece. Um, but yes, that sits in the front here and then in the back you can put in your laptop. Just an observation, not necessarily a bad thing, but definitely an observation that I found with this. And that is that when you are trying to get your laptop in and out, maybe Osprey did this on purpose, it's always good fun when you're trying to do stuff on camera because it just makes it even harder. So a lot of other packs you'll find that if you want to get your laptop out you can just unzip the top and then you can just slide it out. These two compression straps so when both of these are on here as I have a 16 inch laptop and it's quite wide if I undo this here at the top I just can't get my laptop out. So you have to either undo one of them, undo both of them, kind of do a little bit of a J opening at the top, and then it will just slide out of there. I suppose that's good in a way. It stops people from being able to get their hands quickly into a laptop compartment if you're traveling with this or commuting with this. Um, the first few times I went into my studio and tried to get the laptop out, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I keep forgetting about that. But after I've used it a handful of times, certainly had no issues getting in and out of the pack. On the top, have a really nice grab handle. The grab handle is made from a tubular webbing that also then has some foam on the inside, which is great. There is also, which I didn't show you on the inside, sorry, so here at the top, because this is a crossover bag, you can use this for commuting or you can use this for going out in the countryside. Um, there is a hydration bladder section in there, which you could just use your laptop section. And then there is, there is a hose, if I push my finger through there, you can see my finger. Uh, there is a section that your hydration hose can come out um, again, yeah, should you need it. Now the back of this is actually fairly simple, but what I will say about Osprey is, Osprey's simple just works every time. Osprey are, I will say, probably one of the world's leaders of these style backpacks. Even probably better than maybe the North Face Borealis. In just, just keeping, like I say, just keeping things simple, but keeping things exactly how you want it. Now, as far as having separate straps at the top, instead they have a yoke system. What this does is just puts less pressure across your shoulders, um, across the back of your neck if you're carrying those days where you've got your laptop in here, you've got your gym kit, you've got X, Y and Z and it's a little bit heavy. Having a yoke style system like this, it does, it just helps to disperse a lot of that pressure across your shoulders. Coming down into the straps, so they've purposely put this um, meshing on here so that you can see you can see the padding in here not particularly thick padding I'd say it's probably only maybe six seven eight mil thick but it's very nice really plush they've also put perforations into the padding as well just to help that to breathe um, excellent sternum strap there is a sternum strap on here rather than it having a laddered or a gate system instead it has one of these sliders so you can just slide it up and down into the right position i will say about these sliders as well if it's ever so just slightly out what you'll find is that because they slide automatically they'll slide into a position that actually fits your body's movement a little bit better which i really like on the sternum strap you have a a little whistle on there just in case you're out in the countryside straps coming down to the bottom another observation so tend to find with the webbing on the straps that they use a one inch webbing which is a 25 millimeter they've reduced the size of the webbing down on this I'm guessing somebody at Osprey have gone 
well, do we, why have we always done 25 millimeter? Because we just always have done. What would happen if we used 18 millimeter? Well, I don't know, let's try it. It works exactly the same. With there being less to grip, I have found that I'll take it off and then I'll f when I put it on, the whole bit of the webbing has pulled through. Now, I know some of you take a pack off, put it on, undo these and readjust it every single time you put a pack on. I don't. I just generally put it on and leave it so that it's always the same. And it was the same with this one. So the first time I did it, I was like, oh, that's weird. The second time I did it, I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. Third time, put it on, just kind of readjusted, pulled down, and it, it was fine. Again, it's just more of an observation. The chest or the sternum strap is exactly the same. So this uses, should have checked, but this I'd say this is probably about a 10 mil uh, webbing. This does the same, so you'll find when you take it off, it opens itself all the way out. You put it on, cinch it down, and then you're just, you're just out, you're back to work. Now the back section itself uses uh, this, what's the word? Corrugated, dimpled, if I put it in there. Well actually, it's, it's even easier to see this on the camera. Can you see that it has this lattice effect? That's not the, um, the actual padding on the outside. There is some mesh over the padding, but on the inside, it has these ridges, very comfortable feels really nice it just kind of caresses your back as you're wearing it then as you get down into the lumbar section so here where it's touching your body the most it uses this mesh to back onto the foam as it gets down into the lumbar section which is a high wear area then it changes from this mesh into into a higher wear material where you can still feel that nice padding underneath then we get right down to the bottom and you have a waist strap. The waist strap on this is the same, it is the same, yes. So it's about a 18, 19 millimeter thick waist strap. You're not going to be bearing any load on this. This really is just for stability whilst you've got it on. And how does it wear? Well, it wears exactly as you'd expect a 32 litre pack to wear. There is a little bit of a curve in the back. That S certainly for me fits just about right. My movement in it feels natural. It doesn't pinch, especially through the chest on when, you, when you're moving your chest around. Although I do appreciate that I've just moved my sternum strap around a little bit more, but again, that back to where it should be. But when it's on, I, again, you know, I've probably said this before, but Osprey really are at the top of their game and probably the top of the market's game when it comes to packs like this. And for a crossover pack that I can put in all of my laptop gear, I can put all of my stuff in to go and see clients in the day, I can get the train back to my, back to home. Weekends like this, I can put in everything that I need to go out into the countryside plus a little bit more because my daughters are like, oh, dad, can you carry this for me? Or, you know, whatever. Generally, I just leave them to fend for themselves. But every now and again, you've got to throw them a bone, haven't you? Excellent pack. The first time I reviewed the Nebula was back in the Rona days. Um, in fact, I think it did a giveaway on it. Excellent pack and I like to see how it's evolved. I think some of the materials they've changed ever so slightly It was a tougher or kind more kind of a rigid material on the one that I looked at Three years ago. I think they've made a good choice on this this pack now weighs about roughly a kilo which is ridiculous, the amount of stuff that you can get into this and how comfy it is. The ergonomics on this are great. Um, a kilo backpack that you can commute, you can go out in the countryside. Uh, yeah, really is good. So, as always, I will leave some links below so that you can see more from Osprey, where you can pick one of these up and some of their social media links as well. I'll also leave some of my social media links below so that you can see more from me here on Morlander Tactical and also, oh no, Morlander EDC, sorry, and also my sister channel, Morlander Tactical. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Morlander, and stay EDC. And a crossover bag like the Nebula from Osprey might just be the bag for you. That sounded really cheesy then. Let's do that bit again.
Now you won't know this, it just took me bloody ages to get that little rope up there. Usually when I come, bosh, two or three attempts. Must be, uh, must not be on my game today. Anyway, where were we? Nebula. Uh, what were the sizes again? Let's have a look. This Moreland at EDC. Now, you're here to, to, you're here. Well, I mean, you're just here. Just get over it, you're here. You're not somewhere else, you're here. Let's be in the now. Be in the present. Let's all embrace. Size, personally, I tend to carry just that extra little bit that I probably shouldn't. The 25 to 30 who actually spoke really... Why are you a cock? Oh, I know you're a cock, because you're a cock. Of EDC, a lot of commuter style packs are around that kind of two liters to three. No, you're an idiot. <sighs> I shouldn't have had two channels. I shouldn't have had two channels, should I? I should, I mean, I should have had two. I should, it should always have been two channels. The stuff that's the tactical that shouldn't be on EDC and the stuff that's on EDC that shouldn't be on tactical. But I'm now at the point where I'm old, I'm grey, I'm confused, and I don't know where I am half of the time, never mind what I'm doing with myself. Uh, so yeah. I think this is coming out Wednesday. I'm usually f three or four weeks behind myself. Uh, so I think this is coming out on Wednesday. So if it does come out on a Wednesday, I hope you all are having a great humpity hump day. And I'll see you on... Sunday, or maybe Friday, I'm more in the tactical. <laughs> finger pistoling. Nobody finger pistols like the Morlander. By the way, please, if you're going to practice finger pistoling, make sure that it is in a safe and controlled environment with other finger pistoling experts. And on that note, yeah, see you soon.